All right, we're gonna look at a post and we're gonna talk about some of the changes that are coming in the game. And a lot of them I'm unhappy with. I'm just gonna put that out there right now. But this one here, I believe was overlooked by a lot of people where they talked about possibly nerfing Crossbones and Yondu. And my biggest issue with the game right now is that basically there's only two methods of communication directly from Foxnet Studios is through this forum post right here. Rather, it's not a forum post, it's a blog. There is no official forums. And there's no direct interaction with the developers on Reddit. So other than in-game push notifications and this particular post right here, it looks like they post here a couple times a month uh, where it's just a one-way conversation. It seems like the most useful way to get information on what the developers are thinking is in the data mine. <laughs> I, uh, we don't have any other types of communication on the data mine. I can study the data mine uh, when their new patch comes out, and I can see what they're thinking and the new vents are coming out, but uh, a lot of things are not even discussed. So um, a lot of things are subjective and like whether I agree or disagree, but no communication, uh, everything everybody agrees is kind of bad. I wish there was uh, more direct communication either on Reddit or in official forums or something like that. Now this is called game balance updates and a lot of people are not happy about some of the reductions that are going to make to the speed and slow mechanic. Uh, I'm in the camp where I think it's a very good thing and I'm gonna talk, to, uh, talk about a solution to that. Hello commanders. We have some exciting balance changes on the horizon and want to make sure you have the information you need at the earliest possible moment. That moment is now. And I want to say that actually I've been hinting at this in videos for a couple of weeks because I uh, had an idea that they were going to do this at my last visit to Foxnet Studios. First, a little context. Our ongoing goal in balancing characters ensure that every character in your roster has a purpose. They should all have value somewhere in the game. Some characters excel in arena mode while others are useful in raids. Beyond that, there should be as many viable team builds as possible for each mode. New game modes and features are in the works that will further highlight characters and team composition that you may have overlooked. So if we're talking about raids, we're talking about a blitz, and we're talking about the arena, pretty much Quake, Yondu, Captain America and Black Widow were good in all of those moods all of the time. And in Arena, not a lot of other characters could make in there. I mean, maybe you could substitute out Yondu. But Black Widow and Quake, without a doubt, were being used everywhere. And any new characters that come out, unless they have, like, speed up or slow down, uh, they're just not going to be good. It says, we feel that you've invested in particular characters you shouldn't have had your efforts invalidated arbitrarily. However, there are some things occasionally end up on the bottom bounds that require a reduction, commonly known as nerf. With that in mind, let's talk about speed. Currently, characters provide hefty quantities of speed status. Effects, speed up, and slow are dominating the top of the charts of arena mode. In general, we prefer to reduce the effective power as a last resort. But in the interest of a healthy environment for balance, speed up and slow status effects need to be reined in. So they're going to adjust it. Specifically, we're contemplating a reduction in speed up and slow status effects from a 50% to speed adjustment of 30% speed adjustment. I agree. Targeting the early August for this change, this won't no knock every rock star off the top of the charge but it's a structural prerequisite for a variety of future changes. We'll look at other characters like Crossbones and Yondu. Everybody seemed to miss that part of the post. Crossbones and Yondu. Um, nerfs feel bad, period. And I can understand from a development point of view, they want to introduce new characters and new mechanics and new ideas, but nothing is going to be good unless it has speed up or slow down. And that is not a good game if the only way that they can introduce a new character is if it has a similar mechanic to what Black Widow and Quake has. And so they're going to adjust them. And, you know, I, I think even defense up is a little bit high, in my opinion. All of the, the status effects, whether negative or positive, seem to be very strong. All right, and that's the reason why being able to clear them or put them on your team are very good. Uh, clearing them from the opponent team is very important, so on and so on. So 
I don't like nerfs, uh, and I'm going to talk about my approach to this game and why uh, I'm not going to be as drastically impacted by this as other people. It's mostly because I focused on probably about 15 characters on my roster instead of five. Uh, my focus was not arena, and people that are focused on arena focus on five. They went very heavy on five characters, and they're probably going to be the most upset by this, especially if it's Yondu, Crossbones, Black Widow, and Quake. It's difficult to say that this change of speed will be exactly enough to provide the broad viability to Arena and Blitz team builds, but it will bring characters like Quake and Black Widow into formation so we can tune the rest of the game more fairly. We're putting this information out now so players can decide for themselves how they prefer to continue investing in those characters well before these changes go live. Now, I've put the most time and effort into Quake, so this is going to impact me quite a bit. But I still think Quake and Black Widow are going to be very, 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 very good. 30% is still very good. Um, I don't think they're getting nerfed into oblivion by any means. I think that this is going to negatively impact uh, fringe characters, characters that are good, like Korath and Merc Lieutenant, more than it will Quake and Black Widow. Quake and Black Widow will still be good. Uh, maybe Merc Lieutenant and Korath will be kind of marginal characters now. Also be speeding up some of those slower characters such as Hulk. Yay! Boy, it seems like the really slow characters are too slow. Like, it's just like Drax and Hulk and Thor. My goodness, they're just too slow. To ensure their usefulness once they lose that extra speed bump, speed will still be incredibly valuable. Even a single point of speed can break a tie. No kidding often allowing a heavy hitter to deliver massive damage before their counterpart on the enemy team has a chance to act. As we move ahead, we'll also be updating other characters more aggressively, and I really like this right here. They're talking about Nick Fury and Nick Fury being amazing. This means more frequent updates to underutilized characters, more tactical options, and occasional nerfs as needed. Minion teams are getting updated to work more effectively with their leaders, such as Nick Fury leading as S.H.I.E.L.D. Well, so that means Nick Fury is going to be coming soon. A team that will give even an Avengers team a run for its money. Cool. We want these changes to come quickly enough that you can always have new options, but not so quickly that chasing a character you like feels futile. And, of course, each new character we release will expand your options. It's an inspiration to the team when we see people theorycrafting and chat through online forums like they have with the recent Vision and Spider-Man updates. Vision is amazing, by the way. He's really good. Those discussions have been filled up with great ideas and insightful strategic thinking help us guide us when we review characters. Thoughtful debate and strategic expectation will always be at the heart of the balanced dialogue. And this is from Jason Bender. Uh, creative director of Marvel Strike Force, someone that I have met in person, twice had lunch with them, also sat down with him the last time I was there and talked about a lot of these things. Now, uh, solutions to this problem is that a lot of people are focused on arena, 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 and I think that's fine. But then, you know, taking your characters from 9 to 10, 11, and 12 is horrifically hard. And for me, I've been focusing on about 15 characters, an ABC blitz team that do well in the blitz the focus of my gameplay has been blitz and i think that is better in the long run especially if things like this change so that i can shift a little bit easier because i didn't go hard on just five characters i've been going softish hard on 15 20 ish characters and taking them up slowly i think i have one character at 11 the rest of them are at gear 10 and 9 i have one character I uh, know two characters now at seven stars. I didn't go hard. Gamora and Crossbones. So I've kind of been just trying to raise it up slowly, focusing on Blitz. Now, I do have some issues, though. Blitz at two hours is nuts. I, I won't be able to play this game if they keep doing this at two hours. Uh, I just don't have time to play constantly. I, I mean, if, uh, if there's going to be a reset every two hours, I mean, at some point... You can play this game constantly, 24 hours a day. And this happened in Marvel Contest of Champions. And then suddenly people are account sharing and contracting people in China to play their accounts so they can keep up. No way. I'm never going to do it. It's a terrible idea. I do not like the two-hour blitz change at all. The Ant-Man and Wasp events have been disappointing. Uh, double RNG. 
getting a random number of fragments, then once you get the fragments for the orbs, you get a random number of shards, is just not a good feeling. I don't like it. Wasp was frustrating to get through the parts. It was just way harder, like way, way, way harder than Rocket and Ant-Man. And there was no explanation, no post, nothing. It's just like, boom, it's really hard. And the whole point of those events, for me anyways, was the gear, but there was no post like this that was saying, ah, we're just, we're going to dial this up like 100 times harder than before. Ah, okay. Well, maybe I'll be able to beat it. Like I said, my roster is about 220th largest currently out of, I don't know how many hundred thousand, maybe a million players, but, and I'm having a hard time with it. Maybe I'll get through it. And then for Ant-Man, and people were like scrambling and spending money on Ant-Man just to throw him inside of Blitz. Uh, we don't know that was going to happen. It was almost like is an insult. Uh, now I'm going to have way more Ant-Man than I even wanted. Is that going to happen with Wasp? Is it going to happen with Rocket? Should I go hard on Wasp because uh, I, I I can get it in Blitz in two weeks? And, and you know, do I really want to spin him? I don't know. No, no idea what's going on. No communication whatsoever. Uh, you know, if you guys know, if I miss something in the data mind, uh, put it in the comment section, of course. And then the Thanos raid, the redo of the Thanos raid, might as well not have been called a Thanos raid. Uh, maybe one or two guilds, as far as I know, were able to do it. And for someone like me, what do I need to go hard on that Thanos raid? Because I'm, I need 100, 200 shards to go up to the next star level, so I don't need five more shards, maybe. Uh, so they should have just called it a Megavord raid. And then what I'm hearing right now is that the Deadpool raid is going to be two hours long. Um, wow, two hours uh, to get an international community. And the reason why I'm saying this is uh, all of these things is I want the game to thrive. Um, the alliance I'm in, which is uh, managed by the people that run msf.gg, and they also manage the, the Reddit so these are people that are influential in the community, and there's a lot of people that are part, glad to be a part of the game and are a part of this uh, alliance that I'm in. We are losing people left and right. Uh, the people are just quitting the game left and right, and it's hard to keep up, uh, especially when you need 24 people committed to do a single thing, and then to be able to get 24 people to do the same thing in a two-hour period. And, you know, what does that do to the international people? So I don't know. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, I'm not trying to like, um, you know, say that this game is terrible. I love this game. It's a good game. Uh, I really just want more communication. Um, Jason has offered me an interview. Uh, maybe I need to take him up on that. Maybe I need to start uh, a poll for questions or something like that on Twitter. Uh, if I decide to do anything that, I'll put it in the comment section. Also, uh, these new content is on the second channel, so uh, let everybody else know that I've moved over to my second channel. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and keep on gaming.